we're gonna make a high quality linen bowstring. What you're gonna need to make this bowstring, you're gonna need three C clamps, a tape measure, a table to work off of, some beeswax, a clothespin helps, and a good knife. This is the best knife I own. This is from my buddy Jason over at Hobo Forge Survival. So we're gonna roll with that today. It's too good for this project. All right, cool cats. This linen that I'm using today is an unwaxed linen. Uh, I put it on a scale and tested it. So I tied, tied this off, wrapped it around, and pulled down as hard as I, you know, as hard as it took until this broke. So that lets me know the strength of these strands. This broke at around 35 pounds. To make the math easy, we're gonna say 33 pounds. So you take however heavy your bow is at 15 inches of draw, and you multiply that by 10. So to make it easy, if you have a bow, almost every bow in the 50 to 50 pound 50 to 55 pound range is probably gonna be pulling 20 to 25 pounds at 15 inches. So if this is breaking at 33, and we know we have 20 pounds, so we need, we need the string to be able to hold about 200 pounds. A six strand is gonna put us right at, right about 200 pounds. I think we'll go ahead and go with a seven strand. You know, you can go a little bit thicker, but we don't wanna to get too massive. So you just have to pull it and know what you have and do the math on it. And I like to leave some extra like this, cause it's gonna lay back into the string once I wrap it. I'm just gonna tie it on here, real, real simple. Just like that. Now we're gonna run this down. So we're just gonna go down around this clamp. <clears throat> we're gonna come back, go around this. So that gives us two. We're at two and we're starting the third now. Now I've got four. Now I've got six. No, sorry, five. <clears throat> there I've got six. out far enough to where we can wax this down and it's going to kind of stay in place. I'm just putting a little bit of wax on this eyelet section. And where this clamp is we're going to form the eye. Okay, just for the time being, this is going to, we're just getting this out of the way for the time being. Okay, what we want to do is inside of this eye, we want to reinforce this a little bit. So we're going to cut some pieces that we're going to wax and we're going to lay these pieces inside of this loop, okay, to the inside. 
So that's helping with the abrasion and the bow, you know, it rubbing inside the knock. So the pieces, the length of the pieces, you want to stagger them. So the first one I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut a total of three. So I'm going to reinforce this knock by, or reinforce the string loop, sorry, by just a little bit. So the first, the first one I'm going to cut is going to be about 10 inches long. Okay. So I've got one, cut another one 10 inches long, that's for the other end. And I cut one that's like eight or eight and a half. Doesn't have to be real precise. The trick, the idea here is just that we're staggering the ends, right? You don't want you don't want all the ends to stop in one spot. There's eight for the other end. And for what's left on here, we're just gonna fold that in half. We'll say it's probably six inches or so. So we've got three pieces to help reinforce the eye. So we're gonna find the middle of each of these pieces and make sure the ends Make sure that these ends, hold on. We're gonna find the middle of each piece, okay, and make sure that these ends are staggered. So here I've got the ends staggered out so that all the ends are not side by side because I want it to be a tapering out effect. Because I want it to be a tapering out effect and I'm gonna wax these real good. Just making sure I totally coat these with the wax. The other end we'd prep the exact same way. So we got that all waxed up. <clears throat> That's just gonna help beef up the eye a little bit. We got our ends tapered out. We know it's gonna lay right in the eye like that. I'm gonna try to keep it on the inside. Okay. <clears throat> So I'm going to bring that in there with the end staggered out. There it's to the inside. I'm waxing it in together to the inside, waxing it in together. There we go. That's the beginning of our eye and I'll be right back with you. Okay, now I'm going to begin to serve this eye, this section of the eye. I'm just going to wrap it with linen thread. And I'm going to come down from the back of this. I'm going to be down about an inch and a half. So I came down an inch and a half. I'm going to start right there. Okay. I'm going to bring this cord through. Make sure which side that extra is supposed to be on. I took off the piece that I pinned down because I'm trying to remember which side it was on. Okay, it's on this side. So I'll make sure that it's laid in there too. Now, as I'm wrapping this, I'm trying to keep 
those reinforcement strips I'm trying to keep that <clears throat> to the inside get this out of my way a pesky knob so I'm gonna bring this back over itself like so and wrap it tight make sure I'm staying relatively tight if this was still spooled up there's a way you can make this a little easier on yourself and I'm gonna show you that here in just a second I set up another clamp and if these are being the reinforcement strips I just like to take a clothes pin and pin those so they stay right in place like I said the loop is gonna wind up being three inches so we're probably getting pretty close if I had the spool you know you can do this pretty quick we're coming up on it we're at about two and three quarter just really keep that tight this will all get waxed over some of the old school guys would even lay this with glue if I was doing gut and sinew wrapping this like I showed in the other video I like to do that with like I don't don't mind rubbing a little bit of either tight bond or gorilla glue in there that really helps lock things in I'm sure traditionally guys used <clears throat> Hide glue. No big deal. Okay, we'll go one or two more times and then we're right at three. <laughs> Looking really good there. Okay. So I'm going to take the secondary clamp back off. Like so, just pull it clear back out. Undo this, and we'll go back to finding the center again. Well, we might need to go a little bit more. See, that's back to where we've got tension. That's back to where we've got tension, and you can see, hopefully, you can see there we're not not quite even we got about a quarter of an inch left to make it easy on yourselves again there I've got all the strands tapering out we're looking even I want to make sure I've got the right tension because that makes this easier so we, oop, don't want to beat the camera out too much there I've got tension on it Everything's waxed. It's feeling good. And I'm just going to bring these two ends get to where you can really get in there. So now I'm just bringing these two ends right together. So that, that formed our eye inside of there and we're going to come we're going to wrap down because i know guys like measurements i'm going to come down from the base of that eye i'm going to wrap for probably another f uh, i'll probably go three maybe three and a half inches you really want to Pull that up and pull it tight. That's what's going to lock everything in.
So I've been wrapping this direction the whole time. So I'm gonna come on the other side of the string. So I'm on the far side of the string, right? And I've got my tail end. I'm gonna come on top. Just pay really close attention to what I do and I'm trying to show it. I come on top. Okay, and I'm still wrapping the same direction I was, but I formed this loop and now I'm wrapping back towards my string. Right, I'm wrapping back towards where I had served. Hopefully you're close enough and you can see that. I'm gonna go, that's three, four, five, six, and seven. This is the exact same way you're gonna finish when you're serving <clears throat> your string in the middle. Okay, it's the exact same way you're gonna serve it. Everything we've done is the exact same way when you serve it. You're gonna definitely wanna serve the middle of the string where your arrow is gonna go just to help prevent abrasion. So now I'm just coming back up here to the top and I'm continuing, right? Continuing, wrapping exactly how I was, but I've put this tab, hopefully you guys saw that. So I wrapped around the seven times and then I laid this back up, the tag end back up, right? I laid the tag end back up and now I'm wrapping the same way that I was and we're wrapping back over the tag end. And as we're wrapping, that is unwrapping where we wrapped inside of the loop and that's called whipping. So there we're back to our seven and that just takes practice. You're just gonna have to do it. And now I'm pulling the tag end, I'm cinching that back up. Pulling it really tight. And that is gonna lock everything in and hold it in. Oop. And that is how you finish out your linen bowstring loop very very carefully take your knife and you're going to cut not towards your main body of your line you're going to cut back towards your serving and just gently right just gently take that tag off if you have any little stragglers down there you cannot cannot cut towards this line it just don't right cut towards your serving now that your serving's on there you can wax that up that helps hold everything in place like I said the old school guys would use a little bit of glue and lock everything in place I'm sure tight bond or something would work but the wax works great too and if your knots good everything's gonna hold I'm going to repeat the exact same thing to the other side <clears throat> and we'll throw a little serving in the middle and it'll be done. So here I'm serving this bow. And you can see that I just have my tail running down this way. And there's the very tail end of it and I'm just wrapping over it. And you wanna keep the mass in this main body of the string down. So you really don't need, you don't need a ton of serving on it is all that's doing is adding weight where it's 
the least beneficial. If you have a little little bit of weight from reinforcing the tips, you're you're fine. That's that's a smart move. But here, you know, we don't we don't need a ton. Some guys like to do it great big, long, like a and have it to where their shooting glove or tab is on there and everything. I think I think three inches is going to be plenty. Really, you could get away with like an inch and a half if it was right where your arrow is going to go. <clears throat> so I'm just wrapping this down. And what I want to do is sh show you guys how I'm going to finish this. So I've already waxed already waxed under that section of the string it makes it makes the measurement simple for you guys I put three inches of uh, we had a three inch loop on each end and now we're gonna have about three inches of serving So we're coming up to where we need to be. I think that's plenty. Now I really want to show you guys this knot, okay? Let's try to really get in there. So you can see I'm on this side of the string right now, the bowstring, wrapping this way. I'm going to lay this. I'm going to form a loop, and now I'm laying on the opposite side like that, okay? This is called whipping it to finish. So I'm bringing it around, I'm continuing to wrap the same way I was wrapping, but I'm coming up through the loop. I'm gonna do that seven times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I lay this tag end, I'm gonna lay this tag end right parallel with where I just served because I'm going to use this to pull. Okay, so this lays down. Now we're back up here again. We're back up here and we're just going to continue holding the loop. We're going to continue to wrap the direction that we were wrapping and it's going to unwind this side. This side is unwinding and we're continuing to serve in the direction that we were. So there's two three, four, five, six, seven. I've got a little extra serving on that than what I would typically do. So I just grab this tab in now. Once I got to where it's, I did as many as I had, I'm holding the tab in that we wrap back over and I'm pulling up tight. And that cinches all of that down tight. Okay? Now, when you cut this off, good, good sharp knife, and you're cutting back towards the serving, do not cut towards the main body of the string. And do not cut yourself. Just very gently. You could use nail clippers if you wanted. Just cut the remaining tag end off. Take your beeswax mixture, string maker's wax. You don't have to go crazy with it. Just a little bit to keep everybody in place, keep it from sliding around. You may have to do this periodically. This is something that you gotta watch on these <clears throat> plant fiber strings, okay? You gotta really keep up on your serving. That's all there is to it. So we've talked about how the mass of a string can affect the performance. So here we've got that linen string that we just made and we have a little bit longer serving than we might typically use. And it's waxed uh very heavily so the waxing is probably going to add about 30 grains give or take so the heavy heavy waxing you might lose one or two feet per second in performance this string comes in 
at 165 grains. So that's pretty good. Most of my most of my sinew strings are between 250 and 300 grains. So this ought to be a good performer. Let's shoot it on this uh, flat bow and see what we get. 165 grain linen string. We've got a 560 grain dogwood arrow. This bow is probably pulling between 50 and 55 pounds. We're going to shoot it through the conograph and see what we get. One fifty-eight. So with Dacron and a ten grains per arrow like this, ten grains per pound of bow weight, we would be expecting to see if it's fifty-five pounds. We should be seeing about one hundred and fifty-five feet per second. One fifty-five. Probably shortchanged that draw a little bit. One sixty. One sixty. One sixty five. 